is say at the price of twenty dollars is it as insane as what some people may think god is it as crazy as what some people may believe it is boha i think not because i do believe that say at the price of twenty dollars during the peak of this bull run could very well hypothetically happen and of course that's not financial advice nor a guarantee but why do i think that way it's because i believe that say is a fundamentally fantastic layer one blockchain let's not forget say arguably has been able to solve the blockchain trilemma because when you think about it the blockchain trilemma is having decentralization scalability and security all at the same time and when it comes to say it quite essentially has achieved that in my opinion because it's highly decentralized highly scalable and it's very secure as well unlike ethereum right ethereum you know, probably can't even solve the blockchain trilemma. It probably can't even put its own jock straps because I think it's a very antiquated, or should I say a dinosaur layer one blockchain. Some people think it's so amazing, but I just don't get it. Ethereum, gas fees, they're complete nonsense. It's sky high. It's crazy, much like Snoop Dogg's hairline, which is all the way back here. His cornrows are hanging on for dear life. He has to shave him. But yeah, besides that point, furthermore, Ethereum, even to according, right? I'm not saying that this is coming from any random Joe Schmo. According to its very own co-founder, Charles Hoskinson, who's also the founder of Cardano, by the way, but yeah, besides that point, he even believes that it may take Ethereum a couple more years to become scalable, which is complete nonsense. You take a look at, say, it's already scalable right now, and gas fees, you know, this is not an issue, like Ethereum, right? And when we take a look at, say, it's primed for enterprise adoption, which I think is fantastic, because a lot of people out there they seem to think that layer one blockchains that are geared towards, you know, retail adoption to be the next big thing, right? But I really don't get it because I do think that enterprises is where a lot of the potential is at. You know, even if we take a look back in history, for instance, in the case of the internet, what fostered the growth of the internet? It was enterprise adoption. Yeah, sure, the retail market did drive some growth of the internet, but true growth happened when enterprises started to fully adopt the internet. And why is that? It's because enterprises they have the capital they have the resources and they have the volume to facilitate growth at such an insane scale so i think that even though history doesn't always repeat itself it tends to rhyme and i think the exact same thing is going to happen to the world of blockchains i believe that a lot of the growth is going to be largely driven through the enterprise market so when it comes to say being primed quite essentially for enterprise adoption man i think that right there really does give say such a unique competitive advantage when compared to many other layer one blockchains out there and let's not forget right say it's arguably the fastest layer one blockchain out there now being the fastest in the world of blockchains that's fantastic but in the boom boom in the bedroom right you know in the magic in the bedroom so to speak is it really such a good thing i think probably not but yeah besides that point we take a look at say right this is, by the way, it's not just a random claim because the stats, they speak for themselves. Say can process 20,000 orders per second. And yeah, I heard that right, 20,000 orders. You know, you take a look at Solana, on the other hand, a very fantastic layer one blockchain. Let's not forget, right? Very amazing. Only 10,000 orders per second. So Say doubles that, which is crazy. But it doesn't end there, though, because there's more. God, you. if we take a look at Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, it has a transaction finality time of an hour 60 minutes around right which is way too long you know now again that's good in the boom in the bedroom i guess but it's not good in the world of blockchains now when i use bitcoin as an example some people they may think hey tone it down a little bit right because this is an apples to oranges comparison you can't compare say to bitcoin okay let's now take an apples to apples comparison let's now showcase say versus ethereum this is where things get cooking right as what Dwayne the rock johnson would say because say transaction finality time around 380 milliseconds i mean god all you but besides that point we take a look at ethereum ethereum it's six minutes long i mean are you serious now it's not as bad as bitcoin but yeah again that's not really a fair comparison but even besides that point right six minutes it's just way too insane even solana it's around two and a half seconds so you take a look at ethereum I mean, man, it's a very archaic layer one blockchain, right? Ethereum, it's like a dinosaur. You know, it's like a Nokia phone from the early 2000s. Now, you know, back in the early 2000s, having a 6.9 megapixel camera was good, I guess. But nowadays, is that such a good thing? I think not, right? Nowadays, people are looking for what? Either a Samsung or an iPhone, right? 
you know, no one's looking for a Nokia. I mean, I guess, right? I mean, let's face it. But yeah, besides that point, Ethereum, it was good back in 2018. But in 2024, it's just complete caca by today's standards. At least that's the way I view it. So again, right, say transaction finality time around 380 milliseconds. You take a look at how it can process 20,000 orders per second. You know, with these statistics, it makes sense why Say is arguably the fastest layer one blockchain out there. I mean, it's very fantastic if you ask me. It's very revolutionary. And here's the thing. Say at the price of $20, right? Some people may think it's a pipe dream. But when you think about it, is it really? You know, at that point, right? If let's say Say were to go to the price of $20, considering its current circulating supply, it would have a market cap at that point of around $53 billion, which isn't too much to ask for. But even if, you know, people think that this is insane, they think, wow, you can't say $53 billion, you know, approximately is and no, not that much. But here's the thing. You take a look at Doge. Doge all-time high market cap was around $88 billion. So that's over $30 billion more than this, right? And I get it. Some people, they may think that, oh, Doge, it's a meme coin, has a lot of fans, a lot of hype, a lot of holders. You can't compare it to something like Say. But in my opinion, you actually can I think this, if anything, really showcases how in the world of cryptocurrencies, reaching over 50 billion in market cap isn't too much to ask for. Yeah, sure, say me lose out on the fans and the hype, but in my opinion, it's very fantastic. A plus fundamentals really does, you know, even the playing field, you know, if you don't know what I mean. But I'm not going to say it's going to happen tomorrow. You know, I'm not saying that. I'm not going to say it's going to happen in the next 10 hours. I'm not saying that whatsoever. Some people may think that, but I don't because I still think that it takes time because Historically speaking, usually altcoins, they usually reach their peak anywhere between 6 to 12 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And the Bitcoin halving event expected to happen sometime around April, which is next month. So when you think about it, right, either 6 to 12 months after April, that's still quite a long time for Say to still grow. So when it comes to Say, I think it's far from over. I think the best days are still ahead. And I can't wait for Say during this bull run. I mean, when you have a project this amazing, and, you know, the fundamentals, this fantastic, I really do believe that the sky is the limit, especially when I consider how there's over half a billion crypto owners as of right now, as we speak, which is crazy. You know, according to crypto.com research, around 575 million crypto owners, which is ridiculous. I mean, again, right, we're seeing even a small taste of it right now. Bitcoin reached its all-time high price at one point, right, before the having of it, which is insane. So I think that right there is a small taste of what's to come in the future. So again, when you have a bull run potentially being insane with over half a billion crypto owners, you know, the FOMO buying pressure, buying volume is going to be through the roof. And yet again, right, when I consider the fundamental A plus qualities of say and how realistic it is, which I believe for say to go to the price of $20, why won't it reach that, right? I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if say during the peak of this bull run did go to the price of $20 and during the process make off those say critics come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for a used Bratwurst extender, lead the captain edition. It's going to be a little bit embarrassing if you ask me, but hey, I'm extremely bullish on Sate. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.